Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Quick Expert Reviews. So sticking with the recent um, benchmark videos of the OnePlus 6, I've decided to do a benchmark video between iPhone 8 Plus, which uh, is equipped with an A11 Bionic chip, and then a Snapdragon 845 device, which I'll show you in a second, and the iPhone 7 Plus, which is rocking an A10 Fusion um, chip. So you can't really compare the results because the, both devices run on different, they have different APIs, they've got different, um, obviously, operating systems and all that jazz. Uh, but yeah, I'm just curious on how well it's going to perform. Now, now in my hand is a Xperia XZ2, which is also running a Android 8.1 out of the box. It's on the latest software as well. So let's have a look. Yep. Oh, actually Android 8.0. My bad. It's with an April update. So the most up-to-date security update you can get. Now... A iPhones run on iOS 11.1.3.1 so yeah it's not about like I said the final results because you'll see that the Vulkan API has a completely different number results to the Metal API when then again you've got Metal 2 on the A11 on 8 plus and then you've got the Metal standard Metal on the 7 plus so yeah it's a bit different but Overall, it shows you how capable the devices are. You can clearly see that the now two-year-old 7 Plus is actually performing really well. However, as you can see as well, you got some extra effects on the um, A11. And then you've got some um, more on the Snapdragon 845. So you've got some special mist or something. Oh on the <laughs> A11, then you've got the um, A10 that, like I said, performs really, really, really well. So yeah, overall, I'm quite impressed. Pretty much shocked with the A10 performance being a two-year-old device now, a two-year-old processor, but still pretty capable. And you know what? I've actually made a benchmark video as well, which compares the A10 X on the iPad Pro 10.5 and the A11 on iPhone 8 and the results again were shocking um, I'll upload that video shortly but yeah it's it's pretty much not something I would expect but again yeah you can look I think that the actual performance is the best on the A11 but the actual um, amount of effects and all that jazz looks pretty decent on the 845 um, on the exit too so yeah this is what you get so i'll leave you to the benchmark playing on its own now like i did mention in the one plus six video benchmark um, the android will, for some odd reasons plays the same video the same benchmark twice uh, where this one actually doesn't so the ios one will run just once and and will leave it like that look how the Snapdragon has caught up to the A11. It's actually, it's actually faster. It's loading everything faster than the A11. Yeah. But like I did say, you do have some special effects. I'm not saying they are better, but you do have some special effects on the A11. So yeah, like I said, I'll leave you to the video and I will cover the results at the very end.
So as you can see, not that much of a difference between these two, considering this is like the A11, you get more RAM, it's, it's faster, more up to date. There's not much difference between these two. Obviously you get extra effects, but at the same time, the resolution of the screen is similar to an ADP on both devices. So yeah, pretty impressed. And obviously the Snapdragon is still running. Like I said, it does play the video, the actual benchmark, sorry, twice. So, like I did mention, it does get four and a half thousand points, which is very similar to the result of the OnePlus 6, which I benchmarked before, but at the same time, I, like I said, you can't really compare the results between do, those two because they are completely different, but you've seen the video. I'm impressed. I'm amazed. Thanks for watching another episode of Quick Expert Reviews and I'll speak to you soon guys. Take care. Bye.